Today I'll be showing you how to make a butterfly craft project. The supplies you'll need is one black marker, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and some wiggly eyes. You only need two. Some of these gems that you can sometimes find at the dollar store. This strip magnet that you cut with the scissors to make two little squares. Some glitter glue and some normal glue. A colored poster board of whatever color of butterfly you want to make. And a white poster board. The first step is you try to draw a butterfly on a white poster board. I know it's hard to see it with the white background. Um, the reason behind this is so you can erase and Take however many tries you need. When you get it how you like it, you cut that out. And that's going to be your stencil that you're going to use for making the colored butterfly. Once you cut out the colored butterfly, the next step is to take glitter glue. And you go around the edges and trace it and make a straight line where the body goes. Then after that you do whatever design you like for its wings. It's going to take um, probably five to six hours for glitter glue to dry all the way usually. After it's dry, you take a thumbtack like this. You make two small holes about an inch from the top of his head. And the reason for the holes, that's where you're going to put the antenna through. So to make the antenna, just put the shiny fuzzy stick end to end and fold it in half. You don't have to pinch the end though. And then you'll feed it through from the back side of the butterfly through the two holes. It takes a little bit of time to do that right because you don't want to bend this too much. So it does tend to pinch and bend so you got to keep your hands close to the end of it when you're doing it right up next to him. And then you just pull it through a little bit at a time from each side. If you try to pull the whole thing through, it tends to tear the poster board too much. So you have to kind of rotate it a little bit easy. And they should come out pretty even. Then the very last part, you'll the, on the back side, you'll just fold that over and fold this. See. And then these, you'll just twist them in the circles as best you can. The circle bends towards the outside direction, towards his outer wing. You don't want to bend them inside because then it'll look weird. Make sure the, the right one goes to the right, the left one you have to go to the left. that will give you his antenna. The next step after that, you'll take two of these tiny eyes. They're the tiny wiggle eyes. They're um, maybe a quarter inch wide. And then you glue both of them right here on his head. So I'll do that real quick. This glue dries clear, so don't worry about it if some of it shows through past the sides of his eyes. I lost the second one. They're real tiny. So it's easy to lose them, especially on a white surface. But they come in a bag, usually around 80 to 100 of them, so there's no real worry if you do lose them. They're only like a dollar fifty or two dollars at Walmart. After you get the two eyes on, you pick up your black marker or your sharpie and you draw a little nose at the end of him. Then color it in. 
You can use like those regular Crayola ones too. They work just as good that come in a pack. A lot of these supplies, if you get them during the back to school sales, it'll cost you less if you know ahead of time what you're going to do. Okay, so you got his nose, his eyes, the antenna. You got all the glitter glue on there. The next step is you'll glue the gems and they'll go towards the edges of his wings. One on each of the four edges of his wings. If you want it to dry faster, you can just have it underneath the ceiling fan when you're done. Now I can't pick him up because all the stuff will fall back off. The end result is it'll look like this. And when the light hits it, the glitter shows. Now the magnets are the last thing you'll put on him. You do that on the back side. They have a peel and stick, but I add glue. Otherwise, they'll eventually come off. The reason I put them next to the edges is because if he's stuck on a fridge and you're picking it off, you want to be able to get the magnet first. If you have the magnets in the center, You'll bend the wings and deform the butterfly and then it'll eventually start to tear. Now these are good for making them individually with the kid or if you have a party, like a birthday party and they have friends over, then you can have a whole group of them make them or for a school project. Um, if you have a group of them do it, I'd suggest the kid that made it, they put their name where the body is so they can keep track of whose is whose. And then they can have all their friends sign it on its wings like a yearbook for a keepsake. And that's how you make a butterfly.